Hello everybody, thank you for coming back to Carl's Classic Car Garage. Today I am going to be uh, doing a quick video on uh, flashers for turn signal flashers. I uh, came across something I wasn't even aware of after all these years of messing around with car electronics, but if you follow me you know I've been working on this Mustang back here trying to get the electrical wiring. Pretty close to the end, I've just been having some issues with the turn signals. So I've been in the process of putting new front marker lights rear turn signal lights and the whole the whole thing so I'll be uploading a video about the completion of that pretty soon but I ran into a little issue as I was testing the uh, the turn signals to figure out where my problem was at and uh, discovered something kind of unique about these kind of OEM old school flashers and I want to just kind of share this with you in case some of the new people that are restoring cars um, might be interested in knowing this. I'm sure a lot of you old school guys are probably perfectly aware of this, but this is just something I, I kind of embarrassingly didn't even really know about. So I'm going to be uh, also showing you and demonstrating this uh, electronic flasher to work in place of the old school thermal, you know, original flasher. So I'm going to show that to you real quick in the car, show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I want to show you here, uh, I currently have the original flasher installed in the fuse box. And what I did as I was chasing down the problem uh, that I was having with my turn signals, I disconnected all of the turn signals. Uh, I was trying to just narrow everything down to this harness and trying to measure any voltage that was coming through there. But I had this weird issue coming on that uh, I was utilizing uh, this light, which goes into the dash turn signal indicator. So I was using this light as my test to see if the turn signals were working. And you can see it just shines solid. It's not blinking. So I thought, hmm, okay, that's weird. So everything else is disconnected. I'm only running this light. I disconnected everything else and I'm not getting a flash. So I went and bought a new flasher thinking during the course of the time that I was rewiring everything, I must have burned it out. So I replaced the flasher, came back, tested it again and same thing interesting right so I uh, checked for voltage of course I'm getting it is getting voltage across the flasher so it would not pull uh, the flash apparently is what was happening it was just getting a solid light because this was the only light bulb that was turning on in the whole car so after doing a little research I found out that these thermal flashers require a minimum amp draw and I wasn't getting it with just a single light bulb. So without the amp draw, the flasher will not pull on the little thermal connector that's inside there that would make it bump and flash. And that, by the way, is the reason why they tell you to use these electronic flashers. Where did I put it? Anytime you're using uh, LED lights. So if you're switching to LED lights, you have to, uh, you have to use this kind of a flasher because otherwise you're going to run into the same problem. The LED lights will not pull enough amp draw to, to cause that thermal flasher to click. So I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to swap out the, uh, the flasher for this one. And you do got to wire in a ground with this. It's an electronic flasher, so you do got to wire in a ground. So I'm going to do this real quick and just jump it and, and show you what it does with this little light bulb real quick. So give me one sec and I'll come right back. Okay, I got this flasher installed. I have two flashers. One's for the emergency flasher. This one's for the uh, turn signal down here. So that's the one I got installed. Just tied in a little temporary ground there real quick. And we're going to do, again, no other light bulbs are connected except for this one. And you can see right away we get a good, strong, solid light. And I don't know if you recall looking at the light bulb from the previous, before I put that, it was very dim. So it wasn't even getting a really strong signal across that thermal flasher. So with this electronic flasher, you're getting a good, strong pass of current. And with just this one single light bulb, we're, get, we're causing the flash. So that picked it up instantly. So yeah, very interesting. I did not know this. Uh, all these years that I've been messing around with electronics and cars, but apparently that is like a little upgrade you can do, especially again, if you're doing LED lights, you definitely need to put something like this. So again, I'll just show you what it is. 
that's the one that I chose here. I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, that way you guys can try this for yourselves. But yeah, just a little quick little quick trick there I thought I'd uh, share with all of you. And again, I feel a little silly not knowing this all these, all these years. But yeah, it was driving me crazy. I kept testing and testing, trying to find out why am I not getting a flash across my turn signal. And uh, that was a simple simple solutions so yeah thank you for watching and uh, we'll keep some more content coming i'll let you know how all this project is coming along i think i'm getting really close found the flash the turn signal problem it was actually something that i caused when i put in this this whole wiring harness so i'll share that with you in another video keep a lookout for that once it's done i'll link it to this video so that uh, people who view my channel can find everything that they're looking for so again uh, appreciate it um, that part number again I'll put it in the uh, d in the uh, description below if you want to try to order those for yourself and it's also just a stronger uh, flasher even if you know you're not having turn signal issues it gives you a lot better flash and it also makes the clicking sound by the way I was concerned that some of those electronic flashers didn't make the click sound so they were kind of silent so the one I picked specifically had the little clicking sound that you'll want if you're um, if you're wanting to hear that that audible click on the turn signal so when you don't you won't just leave it on you know perpetually while you're driving so all right with that i appreciate it, everybody uh talk to you soon keep an eye out for my next video please like and subscribe that helps me grow my channel and i look forward to seeing you on the next one peace